very diff, very important topic in the field of engineering is differential equation differential equations play a very important role in the field of engineering we use many method to solve the equations first we understand the type of the equation and then apply the suitable method to solve the equation now the definition of the differential equation an equation involving one dependent variable with respect to more than one independent variable is called differential equation you know there are variables involved in the differential equations you say y equal to f of x then x is independent variable and y is the dependent variable now the equation of volume you say dy over dx means y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable the derivatives of dependent variable with respect to independent variable is dy over dx so you can say the equation involving derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent variable are called differential equations now you see the example of differential equation dy by dx equal to x square over y into 1 plus x cube and second differential equation is dy by dx plus y tan x equal to secant x and d2y over dx square plus xy in dy by dx square be the differential equations now there are many types of differential equations now number one separable equation differential equations number two homogeneous differential equation number three partial differential equation and number four equations reducible to homogeneous form and number five exact differential equation and number six linear differential equation and number seven Bernoulli differential equation number eight non-linear first order differential equations and number nine ordinary differential equations so these are the types of the differential equations so we discuss these types turn by turn and number one we will discuss some examples of the separable equations now we see what is the order of differential equation the highest derivative which occur in the differential equation is called order of the differential equation so you see the example number one d2 y over dx square plus 4 dy over dx plus y equal to 0 it is of order 2 why it is of order 2 because the highest order derivative is 2 this is second order derivative so the order of differential equation is 2 in the second example dq y over dx cube plus sin x equal to 10x it is of order 3 because of third order derivative the highest derivative in this equation is dqy over dx cube so this is the differential equation of order 3 and the third example dy by dx plus y cos x equal to sin x so it is of first order differential equation because of this is first order derivative so, so this is called first order differential equation now the definition of the degree of the differential equation what is the degree of the differential equation so it is the exponent of the highest order derivative in that equation you know what is the exponent the exponent mean this is the highest order derivative and its whole power is 1 its exponent is 1 so, so this is the differential equation of first degree we will see the highest order derivative this is first order derivative and this is the third order derivative its order is 3 but the it has whole power is 1 so, so this is first order differential equation so you see the second example 2 plus dy by dx whole cube and whole to the power 2 by 3 equal to dq y d square y over dx square it is of first degree question so how it is first degree question the highest order derivative is 2 and its whole power is 1 so, so this is called the differential equation of first degree and you see the third example 
divided by dx square 4 d to y over dx square 4 to the power 3 equal to 0 it is of third degree equation because highest derivative is this this is first order and this is second order derivative and this is highest order derivative and its whole power is 3 so, so the degree of this differential equation is 3 because of this 3 now we discuss the definition of linear differential equation. What is a linear differential equation? A differential equation in which dependent variable and its derivative, derivatives are of degree 1 and not multiplied together is called linear differential equation. You see in this equation example dq y over dx cube plus a d to y over dx square plus 7 dy by dx plus y equal to sin x. So this is the linear differential equation. You, so, you see in this equation y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. So you see in this whole equation no any term involved in which y is multiplied by the derivative terms. So, so this is called the linear differential equation and this number 2 dy by dx plus y equal to sin x. So no term in this equation you see in which the dependent variable y is multiplied by the derivative terms. These are derivative terms. So no any term is multiplied by y that is the dependent variable. So this is the linear differential equation. Now you see no linear differential equations. The differential equations in which dependent variables is multiplied by the derivative is called non-linear differential equations. You, so this, you see this is example 1. This is term of derivative and y is dependent variable. This is multiplied by d to y over dx squared. So this is non-linear because of this term. When the dependent variable y is multiplied by the derivative so this will become no linear differential equations because of this term and this is also dq by over dx cube ex d2 y by dx square plus y dy by dx equal to 5 so this is no linear because of this term y into dy by dx because y is multiplied by dy by dx that is dependent variable is multiplied by dy by dx so, so this is no linear differential equation now you see the formation of differential equations, how the differential equations are formed. This is a very important topic. You see the basic of this uh, <coughs> function f of x, y, c1, c2, c3, cn up equal to 0. c1, c2, c3, cn are the arbitrary constants. So, so in this function, f of x, y, c1, c2, c3 up to c n equal to 0 with a relation we can form the corresponding differential equation of order n. Equation 1 has an arbitrary constant. So, so c1, c2, c3 up to c n they are n arbitrary constants. So <coughs> we differentiate 1 n times to get the corresponding differential equations. In this function, there are n arbitrary constants we differentiate n times these equations to find the differential equation. If it has one arbitrary constant, we differentiate this relation once. If it has two arbitrary constants, we differentiate two times this relation and we eliminate the constant from that equation. If it has three arbitrary constants we differentiate this relation three times and after eliminating the arbitrary constants we get the required differential equations. So you see on the next page how equations are formed. You see the example form the differential equation of the relation y equal to x plus a. This is a is arbitrary constant. So, so we differentiate once this equation one time differential equation dy by dx equal to 1, derivative of x is 1 and derivative of a is constant, this is 1, this is 0, divided by dx equal to 1 plus 0. 
So C D by D X equal to one with the required differential equation. There is no arbitrary constant in this equation. It has only one arbitrary constant. So we differentiate this equation once. And in this example, form the differential equation y equal to a sine x plus b cos x. It has two arbitrary constants a and b. So we differentiate this equation two times because of two constant we differentiate this two times. So you see dy dx equal to a cos x minus b sin x. Derivative of sin x is cos x and derivative of cos is minus sin x. Again differentiate this equation with respect to x. This will become d2 y over dx square. Derivative of cos is minus sin and derivative of sin is cos. Taking minus common. And the value you see this is a sin plus b cos equal to y. So we put in this place as y. The constant a b are eliminated and this equation has no arbitrary constant. We have eliminated a and b in this equation by differentiating this equation two times. So this is the required differential equation. So in how many constant involved in the equation as many times we differentiate the equation and by eliminating the constants we get the required differential equation. You see another <coughs> example, example number three. Find a differential equation of all parabolas whose axis is parallel to y-axis. Solution. The general equation of this parabola is y equal to ax square plus bx plus c. So this equation has three arbitrary constants, a, b and c. We differentiate this equation three times. Now firstly we differentiate dy by dx equal to 2ax plus b. The derivative of x square is 2x and derivative of bx is b and c, derivative of c is 0. So, so dy by dx equal to 2ax plus b. Now again differentiate this with respect to x. The second derivative is d2y over dx square. Derivative of this term is 2a and differentiate again this term with respect to x. So, so dq by dx equal to dq by over dx cube equal to 0. So this equation is the required differential equation of this relation. This relation involving three constants. We differentiate three times this equation and there is no any constant in this equation. So this equation becomes the required differential equation of all parabolas whose axis is parallel to y-axis. So this is the required differential equation. Now the initial condition, initial value condition. The condition on the solution relate to one value of independent variable that is yx0 equal to y0. These are called initial value condition. This is the solution. This is the solution of this equation. So we apply the initial condition. You can say the condition of the solution at one point. This is one point. So by, by putting the value of x0 and y0 in the equation, we can find the constant and then by putting the constant in the equation, value of constant in the equation, we get the required result. So this is called the initial condition value problems. Now you see the example of the initial value problem dy by dx equal to x side that y of 1 is equal to 4. This is the initial condition. Condition of 1 point. The point is 1, 4. So, so we find the solution of this equation by using this initial value problems. How we find the solution of this equation? How we find the solution of this equation? We integrate this equation both sides. The integral of dy by dx is y and 2x is 2x square and c is the constant of integration. This will become y equal to x square plus c. With the solution, using the initial value condition, the condition is y1 is equal to 4. Here x is 1 and y is 4. We put the value of x is 1 in this place and y2 in this place. By putting the value x equal to 1 here and y equal to 4 here, we find the value of c. This is 3. So we put this value of c which is equal to 3 in the equation number 1 here. We put value of c is 3. So this is y equal to x square plus 3 be the required solution of this differential equation. So such equations 
in which this one point or initial value problem exists. So this is called initial value problems.